Hey, welcome everybody to the Everyday Health Hacker Podcast. I'm Mike Herzing, along with Dr. Lisa Liao. Welcome back. And we're coming to you from the Meridian Health Institute right here in Sugarland, Texas. And folks, we've been talking COVID. Oh my gosh. So it's this new ver- Delta variant. Now oh, they're going to come out with all kinds of numbers and letters and things like that. I understand all that. Greek alphabet. It's the Greek alphabet. Oh boy. Okay. Now, can we, where are we at? We talked about last week. Has anything changed? Anything gone crazy this last week? I think that the biggest concern that we're hearing from parents is that they're going back to school and their kids really don't want to be wearing the mask. And in lots of places, grades 6 through 12 are mandating masks. So I know that that's a big change. And so even for our elementary school students, I mean, as a grandparent, you're a grandparent, you Mm -hmm. know, one of the things that we did for ours was that we did superheroes, two boys. Uh, And we also did Star Wars because that was also a favorite Mm because, you know, right before COVID, we had gone to Disneyland, Disney World actually in Florida. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. And uh, it is it is the it is one of the happiest places on okay. earth. So we did that and that just really brought us a bond to all the Star Wars because that's the generation I grew sure. up in. I mean, granted, you know, I can go back to Star Trek for those of you who are dated and, under- and know what that is. And for those of you who don't, Star Wars, you understand. I have to go back to Roy Rogers. <laughs> okay, well, I like Roy Rogers too. <laughs> I like Roy Rogers too. <laughs> we, we, can go, we, can go, we can go back to some black and whites. We've been, hey, watching, TV. We've been watching TV for a very long the time. The rabbit ears with, yes. with tinfoil on them. Okay, all right. Yes. All right, but let's talk about that. Kids, I've been involved in schools. I'm a, I'm a teacher for the Sky Fair School District for automotive and things like that. And I can tell you the kids that stayed home last year mostly failed. Mm-hmm. And, and the younger kids really need that interaction. They need, when you look at a child when he's sitting in class and they have that lost look, you can't replicate that on a screen, a video screen. You know what I mean? So they're going to come back. They need it to just progress because right now the district's just passed them and it's, we won't even get into that nightmare. But and the point is, what do we, as a parent, what do we really need to do? So one of the things is that if you're finding that your child is not looking at his homework, because I can guarantee you that they are having homework, oh, yeah. or they seem very disengaged, you can you already understand that they are not understanding. And once they do not understand what their homework assignment is and how to do it, they are going to disengage. Right. And when they disengage, they're just not going to complete their homework assignments. So that is, you know, with email, with being able to text the, the uh, the teachers, I was about to say the physicians, the teachers is finding out if there is some programs that are after school or before school to help them with their homework and number two to catch them up because some of the kids are really behind. I think this was the largest class they ever had in summer school this past yeah, year. Oh yeah, yeah. And and they're going on like crazy. But now the question is, what about, you mentioned earlier when we were off the air but that, about vitamins and kids. I'm like, kids need vitamins? Kids need vitamins. How, how important is their, is their diet? And l- unless your children are eating their vegetables all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I can guarantee that's not <laughs> happening. That, yes, they need vitamins, multivitamins, just like you do. Uh, their pediatrician can also check their vitamin D levels to make sure that they are supplemented the way they need to. Or you can just add that to their regimen. A lot of the multivitamins have vitamin D. And you can also ask your pediatrician or your primary care physician, your internal med peds uh, practitioner, what that should be. So it's also following the vitamin protocol as well. Mm -hmm. Again, the kids need to eat well. They need to have their snacks. And they need to exercise. And be outside for vitamin D. And being outside is really great. But you know what? We have 111, 112 (laughs) index. So right now, early, early morning. Right, sure. And then they need to be inside. Okay, kids, vaccinations. So, what, is, yep. what is the medical community's opinion, or do they even have one? Well, I think the medical community in itself is pretty divided on who should be vaccinated. And then we have our people who are anti-vaxxers, and then the, uh, the people who are vaxxers who everybody should be vaccinated. You know, the key is, is that we're on emergency use authorization with the FDA, and Pfizer is going out for trying to get emergency use authorization for children under the under the age of 12, so from the age of 5 to 12. So the key is, is that, you know, if, when you go to the airport, basically if your child is above two, they're supposed to be wearing a mask. Right. 
So in, or in any government mm -hmm. facility. So, you know, if you have to wear that mask, make it fun for the kids. You know, it's, I think it's pretty daunting if you don't have a mask. And the reason I say that is, you know, we have a service dog here in the office and her name is Dr. Dog. She runs the place. Denali, she does, she mm -hmm. runs the place. And when we were all wearing masks, you know, she was definitely acting different. So you can imagine that not only our pets are acting different, those of us that are adults are acting a little bit different. And then we have our children that are trying to mimic what we are doing. So it's being calm, decreasing the anxiety in the household. If you find that you are more anxious than usual, then call your doctor. You know, there's a medical and a dental component to anxiety. So we want to mitigate that and help you be your very best and be your very best now while we have this going on in our country. It will pass, it's just gonna take a long time to pass. Okay, now, kids get sick. Yes, they do. They do, my grandkids, I mean, they, they went through a year where they got nothing but strep throats all the time, and the kids get, I mean, they are always something, because, yes. you know, they're, they're like in a little Petri dish They in, are in a school. Petri dish. Okay, they are a Petri dish, all right. How do you know when to go, okay, I need to go get tested? So, I share with everybody is that if they're having a summer cold right now, this is the time to go ahead and get tested. However, you need to wait five days because the body has to react with antibodies. If you've been exposed to somebody, you need to wait a few more days in order to go ahead and have that test because it takes a little while for the body. You can come back negative at first and then a couple of days be positive. So again, ask your physician. Don't just rely on what the web is saying. Don't rely just what the news is saying. Talk to your doctor in order to get the information that is right for you as an individual. Okay, so the test basically, your body, as soon as you get something bad in it, it builds up antibodies. The test detects the antibodies. Right, and okay. your, your body has to be at a certain percentage for it to even react to the test. Right. So that's okay. the key is that not every test is 100% it might only be 50% accurate. That's okay. why we choose the PCR. And PCR is not the best test that is out there. I don't think we've developed the best test. However, the scientists and the doctors were all working on it. So we're gonna keep working on it. You know, I've got friends that had COVID and they didn't even know it until they got tested. And they went, somebody goes, you already had it. I'm like, what? You have all the antibody in your system, you've already. And so there are people out there, they get it really bad for some reason. And there's some people out there that doesn't even bother them right. for some reason. And there's really, there's no real correlation so far, is there? We do not have that correlation yet. There have been some studies that they're believing that O positives will react better than other blood types. However, you know, there's not anything that is truly convincing in, in my opinion, and I'm going to say that as in my opinion, yet. However, I do believe we're going to have better answers every day. We're getting new information. You know, our team, we have a, a crew here that at 4 30 in the morning, we are actually exchanging the different studies that we read the night before or the morning of because some of us wake up very early and so that's the best time to plan for the rest of the day so we're we are going to be as up-to-date as we can and that we are knowledgeable for so that we can also direct you to the information that's coming out because every time you turn on one channel ABC or CBS or NBC or Fox or whatever everybody's gonna give you all these different opinions right. and it's like who do you listen to? I mean, because a lot of it's politically motivated and things like that. And this is not something and that's you why we to like make politics with. Certain you know journals, because I mean? it's not about politics. And, right. and I think one of the things that got a lot of us as medical professionals, that we got them very, there's somebody that's coming in, so I'm waving to them, hello. <laughs> and one of the things that was really surprising was uh -huh. that there was 70 nurses, they were all vaccinated. They went to a conference in Vegas and of those, 35 of them were positive for COVID coming back. Wow. So that's pretty overwhelming because they had to go through therapy and some of them got very sick. Some of them just had some basic symptoms. So the key is, is that you can still get it even though you've been vaccinated. We just don't know all the truth or yeah. the symptoms that go with it. That and not everything stays in Vegas. And not everything, everything stays, stays in Vegas. Vegas you know? Yeah, we want it to stay there, right? Yeah, but I mean, it's just, so if you've got kids, we need to be worried about it. If you've got a child that maybe has asthma mm -hmm. or some kind of Or you have problem, a family member that's problem. living with you that is going under chemotherapy or radiation or other cancer therapy or an autoimmune illness, and they're on what we call biologics. So they're immune, they are immunosuppressed. 
you know, these are all the things that you have to think about. They might be your grandchildren that are coming to visit. You know, they've been a petri dish over it <laughs> while they've been at school. So these are yeah. things that you have to think about. You know, there's already a rise again in nursing homes that the nursing home staff is vaccinated as well as the people that are living there. So we just have to continue to do the best mm -hmm. that we can, keep your anxiety levels low as possible, start talking about it to each other and make the best decision for you and your family. Okay, real quick, as we're running out of time, um, can I take something, you know, normally if cold and flu season, things like that, I'll take something to help bump up my immune system. You know, whether it's, some people say vitamin C, some people say this, some people say yes. Flintstone vitamins, some people say all kinds of stuff, but whatever works for them. Right. Do you recommend that? Yes, I do recommend for patients to take vitamins. And I, what I'll do is I will make a list on our comments so that you have those as well as the links. And in addition to that, you know, I encourage everybody, you are what you eat, eat a healthy diet, healthy nutritional plan, don't call it even a diet, I encourage, it's a nutritional plan. And number two, get your exercise in, build up your immune system so that we can all fight this together. Awesome, all right, anything else in closing? Wash your hands, wear your mask. I know we're back to I that. No, I hate it's that. It's what we know, more importantly, you know, I've always kept hand sanitizer anyway, so that's nothing new for, for me. So I encourage everybody to keep that hand sanitizer very handy so that it's usable. If you're going shopping, you're, you're out there doing the grocery store list. There's a lot of things that you can do from doing uh, web orders. I do what you can to decrease your risk, and that's all that we can do right now. Think how much just do the best you can. We've changed over the last year or two on web orders and, and shopping and yes, stuff like that. I now use DoorDash and Instacart. Never thought I would do that. I didn't either, <laughs> but it worked. And you know, it's funny, you don't buy as much, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. know. Some of us might buy more. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now. Folks, if any kind of topic you want us to you know, hit, uh, check out, send the information yes. here, info at everydayhealthhacker.com or even everydayhealthhackers.com. We will have to answer anything. This, this lady here will answer all your questions, things like that. Or if you have any great topics you want us to tackle, that'd be great. Yes, we look forward to your comments. Please like us and subscribe on any platform you choose. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, we're all over the place. On behalf of Dr. Lisa Liao, the great staff right here at Meridian Med Health Institute, I always say medical and dental, but it's Health we Institute. Are. I know. <laughs> Our producer, Jack McCraw, and myself want to thank everybody yes. for, for watching and listening today. And please subscribe. And like we always said, we hope you love it. And, and if you do, please let us know. So uh, check us out. Anytime so subscribe, you please. Hit the button. Hit the button. There you go. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.